What up guys, Scott Butcher, and I'm back with Yak Attack's new camera mounts. Uh, now they've got four new mounts out, but we're just gonna talk about two of them. We're gonna talk about the Panfish, which they've brought back, and the Panfish Pro, which has got some new stuff that I like a lot. So, uh, Yak Attack years ago had a phenomenal ball system set up that they did. Um, they've, uh, they, they discontinued using that and came, up and came back with this new design. Uh, what I love about this system here is it gives you tons of versatility with being able to set up your angles, do what you got to do to get the right shot. When you lock this thing down, I mean, it's locked down. It ain't going nowhere. It's super rock solid. Um, all of their new camera mounts come with the uh, the GoPro style configuration and the, Go the GoPro Osmo. Uh, so many others are starting to use this type of setup. They also have all got the real easy quarter 20, which works for almost every other camera setup on the market. That quarter 20 thread um, will work on just about every single camera. That's kind of an industry standard. Um, across, uh, across the board. Uh, this thing floats with just about every camera that's reasonably put on top of it. Um, what I love about this pro version back here, right, is the ability to spin this thing to get your angle dialed in just right. A lot of times when I'm casting and I'm fishing with a friend, I want this over the, over the shoulder type of look. But if I know that Timmons or Brad or one of these guys over here has set the hook, it's easy for me to spin this thing around and make sure that I'm getting some good B-roll or some good footage of them maybe catching that PB. With those guys, you never really know, right? What I also love about it is the quick, is the quick release, right? So just like you're, you're known to see them from Yak Attack with their, with their torpedo holders, their rod mounts, this quick and release adapter setting gives you the ability when it's on the mount to squeeze that in and adjust this thing how you want to. Also gives you the ability to pop that loose, pull this whole thing out. I'm loving this setup for vlogging, for being able to come out and get your angle, to get that selfie photo, to get those different releases. What I'm gonna do a lot with this thing here because it floats is run my other GoPro, which is waterproof, which is submergible, right? I'm gonna be running that other GoPro on here for fish releases. When you get down on some of those crystal clear waters and you wanna get that good fish release, this thing will be great to be able to dunk under the water and follow that fish for another couple of inches, another couple of feet out. Sometimes you just need that little bit of extra footage uh, you know, of that fish swimming underwater, that's something, you know, that you can't ever really get enough of, right? Um, but this, uh, this thing here, all aluminum, super heavy duty, super durable, loving that ability to spin that thing 360 degrees, easy, easy connect, be able to quickly move that thing from boat to boat, no problem. You know what I mean? If we're setting that up there, say, you know, say they're coming in over here and we want to be able to slide this thing in, pop this thing in off of my boat and drop that right in on another boat bam, you have the ability to do that. So, you know, it's one of those things where they really have taken their time. We've been asking for camera mounts for a long time from Yakazak. They finally done it brand new here at the end of 2019, rolling into 2020. Make sure you guys go check these things out at yakazak.com or all of your retailers. They're absolutely phenomenal. I'm Scott Butcher, reminding you guys to hack your dreams. Go get some good footage. We'll catch you guys later. See you.